the great American flag, conceived over seven years ago, a banner so large that its extraordinary size may capture the imagination, elevate the spirit, and stir national pride. A banner made large enough so that all Americans may recognize their part in this flag, every American flag, and the republic for which they stand. This banner is hereby made a gift of the people to the people, so that today and in years to come, we may see in this, this great flag the greatness that is inherent in this nation. On this flag day, the 14th of June, 1983, the Great American Flag Inc Fund Incorporated, by virtue of this document, transfers and assigns the Great American Flag to the United States of America. Thank you, Jack Lyon, Peter Grace, and Len Silverfine. Who could stand before this scene with Old Glory unfurled in all its majesty across the area of two football fields and not feel their heart filled with pride? This flag is a gift from the people to the people. It was made at painstaking effort financed, as you've been told, by a coalition of workers and managers, corporations, and individual givers. I commend members of the Washington, D.C. Labor Council who spent hours this morning carefully unfolding it for presentation and who have volunteered to set up this flag every flag day. This giant flag is a testament to the unity and patriotism of our people and to the deep love and commitment we have for our country our freedom, and our way of life. I'm reminded of a verse that I once read, written as if the flag were speaking to us now and for generations to come. It said, I am whatever you make me, nothing more. I am your belief in yourself, your dream of what a people may become. I am the day's work of the weakest man, and the largest dream of the most daring. I am the clutch of an idea and the reasoned purpose of resolution. I am no more than you believe me to be, and I am all that you believe I can be. I am whatever you make me, nothing more. If you look out at that grand flag stretched behind us, you can see what we think of ourselves, our country, and our future. That flag was made by and for men and women who still know how to dream great dreams and who still believe they can make their dreams come true. That giant banner was not created by a timid nation, but by a bold one. Not a stitch was sewn in confusion or doubt. We understand that those stars and stripes stand for freedom and the forces of good. We apologize to none for our ideals or our principles, nor the prosperity that we've made for ourselves and shared with the world. Let this grand flag forever be a symbol of the potential before us, that free men and women can soar as high as their dreams and energy and ambitions will take them. On behalf of all Americans, I would like to thank the Great American Flag Fund and all the men and women who've made this inspiring gift possible. I promise you, your government will keep it and treasure it and use it as a reminder of the greatness that is America. And now, if you will all join me, I would like to lead you in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I have to go now. I am leaving in that whirly bird for the volunteer state, Tennessee. So I'm looking forward to it for one reason, too, at the very start of the trip. I will get to see that magnificent flag from above from the air. Thank you all very much. God bless you.
right there, Sharon. This guy's best really where it takes off. Mr. Silverman. Okay, let's get out of here.